Okay, you hit it. Hello again, this is Jeff of Tau Flater Mouse. Today we have another badass looking shotgun slug called the Scorpion with a K. We know very little about this slug because this is the only place I could find it on the entire interweb. This was sent to us by Emiliano from Italy. Thank you very much for that. It features an integrated wadding that flies along with the slug. The main body of the slug is lead and it has a steel tip that allows you to stick magnets to it. Now these slugs are on the heavy side, weighing in at about 1 and 8 ounce or about 34 grams. Now I loaded one of these into a low brass shell and the remaining I loaded into three and a half inch magnum shells. And here I'm putting a roll bead on it and once again I want to thank Emiliano for sending me that, that brass tool there, which is a great help. I really appreciate that. Now some of you may be saying, hey, it looks like this slug made by Rio. Well, there are some slight differences. The biggest one is actually these have 10 veins where our scorpion only has nine. And of course, these have a red wadding and our scorpions have a blue wadding. All right, this is Greg. I'm back on the Tau Flater Mouse channel out here in Central California on a miserably hot day. We are shooting a low brass version of the scorpion, the mysterious scorpion. Shooting it from a Weather BPA 459 smoothbore tactical shotgun. Our first target is a quarter inch thick stainless steel plate. Let's see if these things are armor piercing. Yeah, I don't believe you pulled it. Usually my poles are low, low and left. Just a tiny little dent there. Nice little splatter marks. Yeah. Very interesting. Okay, let's take it to the budget high-speed cameras and see how these things are actually flying through the air. We notice right away this slug is having problems. Serious stability problems. Normally any slug fired at this plate, even a wax slug, would leave a pretty good sized dent in this. But we didn't see that. In this shot, from the blast hole of the shotgun all the way to the target, we could really see that this slug is very unstable in flight. So is the low brass shell just, just doesn't have enough ass behind it? Let's put it in a magnum shell and see if we can get better results. Whoa, it was way to left. Way to left, go for it. So let's see what magnumization did to this slug. Well. It created a huge smoke cloud that blocked our cameras because magnum shells just put out a ton of heat and smoke that cameras can't see through. Low brass shells, that's what we typically use and we can get the best imagery that way. Luckily we have a bunch of budget high speed cameras that we can get different ca camera angles with. So you can see that slug still had a lot of issues. Gosh! That one's at least he hit the gummy bears this time. But this thing is not flying good like a good shotgun slug should. Now typically, the shotgun slugs that have the unified wadding that flies along with them perform very, very well. The wadding acts as a kind of drag stabilizer, allowing them to fly straight. But these things, for whatever reason, just were not stable at any speed. And here you can see the slug deflecting off to the left, spinning and smacking into that embankment. All right, hit it. I think that one hit bottom to the right. Boy, she just knocked everything out. Now normally, if the slug is performing well for us and is accurate, we just put one hard drive up there, but we had to put four of them up there just to ensure that we'd hit something. He was aiming at the center where the four hard drives intersected, and you could see, well kind of see, that it actually it was quite a bit off. And once again, the slug is performing in an unstable manner. It almost looks like 
right when it hits the table, it does a backflip. Curses to you, budget high-speed cameras and magnetization. Unfortunately, that's the last of the slugs. We only had four of these to test out. We were going to shoot it at some bulletproof glass if everything went well. But unfortunately, it didn't. Is the Scorpion just a terrible shotgun slug? Or can we blame Darren? You decide! Okay, here's a series of practice shots that Greg took. Shooting two Foster slugs, I think they were Federal. And then shooting a Gwalandi LBC Sabo slug. One of my favorite slugs, by the way. And look at that low brass, high speed performance from that slug. There's nothing wrong with Greg's shooting. And here is the aftermath. We actually recovered one of the slugs. The one that hit the, the computer hard drive, smacked into the uh, fiberglass plate. And you can see how far off it was. But also you can see that the slug actually impacted sideways. So you may be asking yourself, what factory slug is the most powerful that we have shot yet? That is the Thunderbolt. Yeah. This is the same weight as the Scorpion and shot from the same Magnum shell that we used. This one performed great. Be sure to check out my Strange Factory Slug playlist for more tests. Let's celebrate the night to remember Micah! Thank you for watching Micah!